What's up guys, Austin Newby here today coming at you with yet another Adobe Premiere CC 2017 tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about a very popular effect which is the VHS effect. This is where you take new footage and make it look really old and it's actually a really unique look you can add to your footage. It's actually pretty simple as well so we're going to go ahead and dive in on how you can also achieve this look. So this is actually pretty simple, let's go ahead and select this clip here, go to your effect controls, under opacity you see blend mode, go ahead and change this to linear dodge add, go to your effects panel, type in RGB, so we'll grab color balance RGB, drag that onto your clip, let's go ahead and leave red alone and turn down green and blue to zero, now we're going to hold down alt while dragging this clip up to duplicate it and then one more time. Okay, now what we want to do is go to the second clip here, take red all the way down, turn green to 100, then we're going to go down to the bottom clip, take red all the way down, turn this clip into 100 for blue. Now what we want to do is go to the top layer and under position on the second value, let's move it to the left slightly, about right there, looks good. Now let's go down to the bottom layer and move this right value down slightly. There we go. So that looks good. Now what we want to do, we have this all set. Now let's go ahead and go to our project panel, right click in here, new item, adjustment layer. These are my settings, so this is good. Let's drag this over our clip here, bring it over, and actually let's leave room for one more thing. That's where our font's going to go. So let's go over here back to our effects panel and type in wave warp. Drag wave warp to your adjustment layer, so your top layer. Go to your effect controls, and now we're going to change this up a little bit. So go to your wave type, square. We want the wave height. We'll keep that how it is for now. Uh, wave width, let's go ahead and take that to 1,000. Direction, we want at 0. And wave speed, we're going to take to negative 0 0.05. Okay, and then we take pinning and go ahead and do all edges. Otherwise, you're going to get these little black bars on the side. You don't want that. So what that's going to do is it's going to give us a nice glitch line that runs right down through, and this is a really nice realistic speed, so that's why I like to do it like this. Now, let's go ahead and go back over to our effects panel and type in noise. Grab your noise here, drag it to your adjustment layer, and then we're going to take noise up to 20%. That'll add a little bit of grain to it, just make it look a little bit more digital. One last thing we want to do just to really sell this, let's go ahead and put some text on here. Go to your safe margins and turn those on. We're going to go to our type tool and type up here in the right hand corner. Let's go ahead and type the date as it would record it on a VHS camera back in the day. This actually happens to be the date I recorded this. So let's go ahead and select this really quick and your source text. I'm going to go ahead and use VCR OSD mono. I have it linked in the description below so you can also use the same font. So while we have our text still selected, let's go down to appearance and we want stroke checked on and you're going to want this to be a black outline. And just one is fine because we don't want a width any longer than that. We really just want this kind of subtly there just to kind of show up against any background. Grab your selection tool and let's go ahead and move this into the corner. Now what we want to do is we're going to take this font layer, this text layer, drag it beneath your adjustment layer. The reason we do that is so that this little wave warp will actually affect our text as well, everything that's underneath it. One more thing, go to your effects panel, type in fast, you get fast blur, drag that to your text layer, and we're going to go ahead and give that a value of 4. And that right there is what seals the deal. No pun intended. So if you did learn something, make sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking and editing tutorials in Premiere Pro, just like this one. I've been Austin Newman. You can find my work on Instagram, at Austin Makes Films. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.